Hello everyone. I have got to do some cooking. I got a gloved hand that I'll be touching the food with here. And this hand I'll be just, you know, doing my other stuff with. Uh, this is a gross breast. And what I've done in order to save some time is I have I've already taken it off of the uh, the breast. But I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one I'm going to take off the breast for us. To, <laughs> I'm messing up my words, but I want to show everybody how I've taken this off the grouse breast. Uh, but first, uh, let's get started. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. One for the cook. All right, I'll show you this. What I do is I cut down um, the, the breastbone here, right down here, and I just open it up. And then you can see the muscle unfolds here. Now I'm sure there's a bunch of different ways to do this. Uh, if you have a better way to do it, please let me know. Uh, the purpose of my channel is uh, to just learn and teach and get at her. Uh, this animal, this grouse, was harvested using my air rifle, um, a Day State Airwolf. So in case any of you um, are tuning into this and you're not familiar with my channel, this was shot with a pellet gun, as some would say, uh, pre-charged pneumatic. And this is a roughed grouse uh, shot in Canada. And I am a Canadian. Okay, a lot of my viewers are from Britain. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in here. I did soak these up in some, uh, uh, just some salt water. Why I did that, I'm not sure. I remember my dad teaching me that, so I went with it. So, I'm going to try and make this not so jerky. Uh, what I'm going to do is, besides drink beer and make this YouTube video, I'm going to show you uh, this stuff here. It's, uh, it says right at the top, Canada's favorite right here. I bought it at Walmart. I don't know where else to get it. Look it up. It's great. Now, it says fish crisp, but you know what? It works very well for uh, anything Okay, that we're going to deep fry. Now, if we look over here, I've got it on the plate. And here I've got this going. So I'm going to bring this up to temperature. I've got some butter in here that I uh, have there. You can see I just have a knife cutting it off and I got a little, little flipper. So I'll bring this up to temperature and we'll get going. The element's already on here. Okay, hope this isn't too jerky for everybody. I'm sorry, I'm just doing this by myself, guys and gals. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just kind of flop this around in here. I'm going to turn up my heat. Just, uh, I think you can hear that. So I'm just going <coughs> to, oh, this powdery stuff is, I mean, it tastes great, but don't inhale it. Wow. So I've just got these cut up into little pieces and I'm just rolling them in the batter. I haven't put any egg or milk or anything, I just use the moisture of the meat. And it sounds like we've got some 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 crackling over here so I'll just turn my attentions here and we'll watch this one fry up here okay so I'll let that get going here and uh, I really enjoyed um, harvesting these grouse that you can see here the breasts and what's left of them I used uh, obviously a headshot for when I shot these animals. So we have no pellets in the breast or anything like that. You can see here how um, my pieces of breast, uh, they coat quite nicely with the with this Cajun on here. I like spicy food, so that's just me. We're getting up to temperature here and I'm just gonna, yeah, there we go. These don't take that long to do. And you know what, it's really neat when you get to harvest Harvest a gross and then cook it. And I love this whole YouTube thing because you get to you get to like interact with others that are into the same thing and teach. Um, I don't consider myself an expert here, but I do. Uh, I love the interaction with different like-minded people from UK, United States, all over the world, and it's just really cool. So I'm going to just turn this down a bit because I think. Starting to like brown this butter and it's starting to actually burn a bit. 
I'm just going to turn my vent fan. Well, I'm not going to turn the vent fan on because it, uh, I think it's kind of loud. So, you can see here, I'm not going to make this into a big long video. I'm actually going to get going on this. Um, but I wanted to show everybody how I'm doing this. So, there we go. You can see this isn't burning here. It's actually just the, uh, the, the, the fish crisp on here, it's called. Um, it's just, it's just kind of crisping up and cooking uh, the meat. So, <clears throat> I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching my uh, YouTube channel. Um, I did harvest this with a Daystate Airwolf. And you're welcome to take a look because I'll have it uh, in the listing here. Okay, so just to reiterate, we have beer for the cook. I'll have one more of those. Mm -hmm. Last time I had one of these, I think uh, Malcolm from uh, Country Pursuits TV, he was like, geez, you're making me hungry. I think I probably am in again with this. Um, and we got this here, Fish Crisp. And we have our grouse breasts. And if you can see way over here, I soaked it in some salt water first. All right, I'll leave you with that. As always, thank you for watching my YouTube videos, and I always appreciate my uh, um, my my viewers. All right, thanks. See you later.